and like I don't know where it's set up, but it's like it's like BC times and shit. You got like find mammoths and like you can like take control of them and shit. I don't know, it's weird, some spiritual shit. But uh, it's just cold. That shit's dope as fuck. I still ain't beat it yet though because I've been on the road. Jack three over Ratchet and Clank three. I never played Jack, so I ain't even gonna say nothing about that. I never played Jack. I played a little bit, but not. In, I didn't get into it because Ratchet and Clank is just better, obviously. Have you played Be Hold on, Beyond Good and Evil. I never played that game, but I seen the trailer for it. That shit looks so like crazy. Um, the game looks lit, bro. I can't wait. To Okay, how come I never, how come I never seen this shit? Apparently it was a classic and people was begging for it, for them to drop another one. So they dropped the, um, you know, the sequel or whatever. So I really can't wait to see. I love games that are like super creative. Like, uh, so many games just look repetitive nowadays, bro. Like, yo, do something different. Same old shit. I got a whole bunch of like old shit on this computer. Let me see. Assassin's Creed. Yo, Assassin's Creed is one of the most complex video games of all time. You get so I get so bored playing that game. Every time I play it, I'm just like, yo, why are they talking about crucifixes and shit and just like shit that's just random? Like, I don't know. I hate medieval games. I don't know. Not a big fan. But um Except there was a medieval game that was cold. It was on PlayStation. Yeah, I forget the name of it. It was cold. It was a dude. <laughs> I forget. He was like a skull dude or some shit. I gotta find the name of it. That game's lit. What game are you playing? Xbox or PS4? Come on, bro. Xbox all day. Don't do Creed like that. <laughs> nah, that game and Batman Arkham Asylum, two two most complex games of, of all time. I I hate I mean I like them, but they just it's just be like I'm like a simple gamer. You know, when I'm not that simple of a gamer, but you know what I mean. Should be too crazy. Xbox trash, bro. Who said that? Bugatti Bees? Dang, bro, I just lost respect for you, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Lost a whole lot of respect for you, bro. Troy Kill. Kingdom Hearts. Lit. That game is lit. Kingdom Hearts is like. I never played it, though, but I used to watch my big brother play it all the time. I don't know if Brandon's in here. He's probably watching. My big brother Brandon used to play that shit all the time. It's like, yo, it's cold, but it was like, I don't know. I think it's an RPG game. I'm not a big fan of RPG games. I got, I got a question for y'all real quick. Um, there was one person. Sly, hold on, wait, wait, Sly Cooper. I'm not bad. They talk about some of my favorite games in here, bro. Sly Cooper's a little, pff, classic. No, I don't. 2K17. Fun fact about me, I do not play sport like sports games. Like I like the unrealistic games. Like, like I love NBA Street though. You know what I'm saying? NBA Street, NFL Street, NFL Street, and then um, I don't like FIFA Street like that. But those games just lit to me. It's just as hard. My bad, I'm trying to. Oh, yeah, but my question to y'all was if there was one person, literally one person, like if I was to focus on, like, yo, I need to go do a song with this person right now, like, who would that be? Like, who should I go, like, do a song with, like, right now, at this moment? I don't know, because I've been thinking about, like, you know what I mean, doing, like, more features and stuff. And... What's my favorite song right now? Yo, that new Jay-Z hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He killed that. Sizzle.
sizzle, sizzle. Shout out to her. She's amazing. Ryan Leslie, her. Me and her is working, by the way, just so y'all know. Sizzle too. Lil Uzi. My favorite song to write. My favorite song to write. What song did I have the most fun writing? Oh, fun fact. Um, Before You Judge Me, I recorded that verse in like 2000. Like right after I seen Straight Outta Compton, you probably heard that in the interview, but right after I seen Straight Outta Compton, um, I, I recorded it over like this like R&B beat uh, produced by Tech. Tech produced it, and um, <clears throat> I forget what sample it was. And I don't know, I was just venting. And then Nessa sent me this other beat, and I kind of like, I, don't know, I think I lost the session or something like that. So I just like re wrapped the verse and um, onto the Before You Judge beat. So. The weekend. What up, Ness? What's poppin'? Hey, yo, Ness, you know I ain't got absolutely nothing to do, bro, when I'm on, when I'm on here. So I'm about to set up my studio. Actually, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm about to give y'all a tutorial on how to set up a studio. <clears throat> Let me say my head on that shit. So anybody, anybody out there that wanna, Get more, you know what I mean, get in the studio, start uh, practicing, you know what I'm saying? I feel like everybody always come up to me asking me for advice, like on the music industry and stuff like that. My best advice to anybody who's trying to make it, buy your own studio equipment. And let me tell you why. Whenever I first started recording, mu I mean, recording music, <clears throat> Whenever I first started recording music, I used to be, uh, my boy used to let me record. Actually, not before that, before that. I used to record over this dude's house. And um, there used to be like a couch full of people. They'd be like, yo, you gotta record with these people here, bro, because I couldn't kick anybody out. Plus, I was too scared to kick anybody out. I didn't want to be like, yo, can y'all leave while I record? You know what I'm saying? So I could kind of do my thing. And they'd be like, uh, nah, bro, blah, blah, blah. So they just chilled on the couch. <clears throat> And I was recording this song called She My Fatty, right? It's terrible, a terrible song. The worst song I ever made. The only place it exists is on my Xbox too, so if you ever wanna hear it, you have to come to my house and steal my Xbox because I don't know how to get it off of there. Anyway, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, yeah, when I was recording the song, people was like laughing at me in the background. It was like, yo, you so, he's terrible, blah, blah, blah. Cause I, I didn't know what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? I was just like trying to like, I don't know, I was just trying shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, how do I do it? Yo, yo, hold on, my niggas in here, Guap Freak. Yeah, he was there too, he know what's up, you know what I mean? When we was in the, um, we was in the closet, you know what I mean, my, uh, Cordy's house, and uh, they invited me up, we did, uh, we uh, remixed, um, what's that song? Tell me again, Lovers and Friends. <laughs> Lovers and Friends. So, um, yeah, yeah, they used to just be laughing at me while I was recording and shit, just like, like, yo, what are you doing? Like, and basically, like, whenever I try to turn around, be like, yo, y'all laughing at me? They, like, stop laughing and then, like, try to hold it in. So then I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Then I met this dude named Saint, right? And he was like, yo, I fuck with your shit, blah, blah, blah. You dope, man. Yo, you got you got potential, man. I was like, for real? He was like, yeah. So I was like, all right. <clears throat> so uh, he was like, um, yo, you can come to my studio record whenever you want. I was like, Yo, for are you serious? And he was like, yeah. So I was like, all right, cool, bet. So um, I used to go over every day after school. Sometimes I even cut school, um, a lot actually. Uh, and uh, cut school, went over to his crib, used to record all types of songs, basically just growing, you know what I'm saying? Just like teaching myself how to do things better, you know what I mean? And there was nobody around to judge me at all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there was nobody around to judge me, it was just him and me. You know what I'm saying? I was just basically growing and growing and growing, seeing like trying new shit, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's why everybody should buy um buy their own studio equipment, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, I mean for one, it's expensive, you know what I'm saying, trying to go to the uh, to the studio all the time, you know what I mean? Like and it's just like you gotta kinda work around other people's schedules, engineers, oh I can get you in at this block, blah, blah, blah. Like fuck all that, you know what I'm saying? Like just buy your own shit. Like this right here. 
Excuse all my clothes on the floor. I had to rush and get packed. SC, this mic stand right here.